Hello my friends! Welcome to a Warhammer 40k. I still I still get conflicting information about how to pronounce the name Makanus or uh, Makinas. Um, anyway, <laughs> we'll we'll figure one out. We'll call it 40k mech for now. Because why not? That fits the theme of my other campaigns. Now, I got this game because quite a few people said, why don't you play this game? And quite a few other people said, well, we don't want we don't want to sort of watch Edmund play this game because it's too easy. Um, and thus I would just blitz through it and uh, it wouldn't be that interesting to watch. Um, despite it being a very, very good game from what I have heard. Now, I wrote to the developer and, uh, you know, asked for permission to do a campaign because uh, I'm like that. I just feel like that's the right thing to do. And uh, they have an open beta which you can opt into today, literally this day right now. You can go to Steam, go to the betas tab if you own this game and opt into the beta. And what that beta does is add difficulty settings to the game, including customizable difficulty settings with massive options. I don't know whether they're going to keep all of this or not, but they're there. So if you were looking for a challenge or to revisit this game, having completed it back in 2018, well, you can opt into this beta out today and uh, and give it a bash. So I'm going to tick all the boxes because why not? We'll stick it on the uh, the auto customized very hard difficulty, along with Iron Man and Permadeath. Let's begin! <clears throat> Time to kill the Xenos filth. In the name of the Emperor. Except this is the one for EK faction that doesn't do everything in the name of the Emperor. Funnily enough. Whoa, this music is loud. It wasn't loud in the uh, thing. Hang on. I'll I'll turn it down, but I can't. I don't think I can get to the options right now. Click to continue. All oh, right. Sweet. Can I get into the options from here? No, I cannot. Well, at least the music's not so loud right now. <clears throat> okay. Search the rolls. <clears throat> the Imperium loves its rolls and its scribes and its paperwork. Okay, I'm not quite sure what to expect, so I presume it's going to throw me into battles shortly. It's gonna be a tomb world. That much is obvious if you've seen any of the trailers. So a tomb world is uh, <clears throat> a world where the Necrons are uh, are resting after their last rampage. Uh-oh. 
Many astropaths died in the making of this. <laughs> Man, I need to turn that music down. It's blasted me. Well, the ship looks okay. Okay. It's a tomb structure, of course it is. <clears throat> this reminds me of a video by Flash Gits. Can't we just virus bomb it? It's always gene stealers. <laughs> in, the, uh, in the case of the... Uh, Uh, in the in the case of uh, where the friggin name of the faction has escaped me. It's always Necrons with them. I'm trying to get the pronunciation right in my head. It's like adapt adapts. Uh, Adeptus or something. It's been a while since I last did any 40k, I must admit. Not since Dawn of War. Okay, so we're here to just take everything that's nailed down. Which, that always works out well. Omnissiah be praised, we're going in. Right, first things first. Well, let's uh, tone down that music, shall we? <clears throat> it's way louder than the... Uh, it's way louder than the sound effects for whatever reason. Return to game. Oh, I'm just checking out the new difficulty settings. I guess you can change them on the fly. Interesting. Let's go, boys. Necrons! This is almost a bit like a uh, darkest dungeon here, where you're moving from room to room. Check the surrounding chambers for potential dangers. Examine the inscriptions on the obelisk. Let's scrutinize it, why not? Sweet. Money. I like the servo skull up here in the corner, that's kind of cool. Oh 
Okay, so I presume there's nothing in this room. Let's kill him. Hmm, I wonder what these options do. Let's do it by the book. The Adeptus Mechanus, that's it. I remember now. <clears throat> there have not been many games about the Adeptus Mechanus, to be fair. Kill them. <clears throat> Kill them all. Okay. There's only two. Take this guy down first and then move around and take this guy, I guess. Would be the simple way to play it. I don't know what their their effective ranges are, that's the only thing. <coughs> Range, eight meters. So I presume eight tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we should be in range from here. Okay, that's helpful. I do not have enough cognition points to attack yet, okay. Assume that there is nothing else that I can do then. Yeah, okay, I get that. A shared resource, okay. And I need two to fire a uh, to fire a gun. I need only one to use a melee attack.
Okay. So I can deploy extra troops. Which I presume that I'm... Uh, obligated to deploy at least one. <clears throat> Your servants and cannon fodder. Okay, so this weapon's basically a melee weapon. Well, sweet, that did nothing. <laughs> Yeah, that much was obvious. I guess I didn't really need to explain that. I do not believe I have enough cognition to do anything with this unit right now. So I guess the wise thing to do is to just close in. Alright. Sweet. Oh damn, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt way more. able to regenerate just like the lure let's give this boy the smackdown In practical terms, it means we've killed it. In plot terms, it means it's gone downstairs somewhere to be fixed. And it'll be back. Okay, I guess I don't actually want to do that. I did not realize that cost CP. Can I actually hit him from here? I can. Five damage, damn. I bet that hurt. Well, it seems a simple enough game. I presume that, like BattleTech, most of the uh, most of the interesting uh, strategy will be around how you build these guys and what weapons and such you give them. I see a lot of empty boxes here for various things. I uh, don't really need to deploy another dude, so I'm not going to. Turn order seems to be fixed, so I can't. I can't pass a turn, it would seem. Is 
this just free cognition points for using the servo skull? It's an interesting system, I guess. People watching this right now are like, oh my god, this noob. <laughs> I presume that the, the Zerglings cannot collect cognition. At least not in the traditional sense. Can I hold down shift and plot a route? I guess not. So the right move is to suck up all of the uh, suck up all the CP. Wait, the machine spirit is willing. Okay, it's instant victory even if <clears throat> you don't get rid of the body. A surprise HP carries over <clears throat> so I actually took quite a bit of damage there but I know what I'm doing now so that makes a big difference it looks like your CP also carries over so you might in a practical sense want to farm CP before you win a mission so you can start the next mission with four points I wonder if this is expansible later as well and you can get more. <clears throat> These are just my thoughts in my head as I'm playing this for the first time. Ignore. Oh, the odds of these are full of bad guys. They're waking up, yep. Yeah. Interesting. Uh oh. Wow, it should be simple enough to deal with them. Okay, there's like a triple cognition thing there. I presume that what I really want to do is to just kill these boys fast. Uh, well, yeah, this is the injured one. We'll, th we'll throw a, a wall of meat at them. Let's go here, actually. I presume that units block each other. 
so you kind of want to position in such a way as to not block your own units. Scan him. This is the gun that only requires one point to use, which is quite helpful. But I used all my points to deploy, but I don't regret that. Since we can recharge down here. Looks like the servo skull has infinite range, which is uh, just means it makes sense to use it every turn. Detailed files on human anatomy. That's a trap. They're deadly. Need to get rid of them. Well, they're not deadly really, but... In, uh, in the lore, they're more than capable of attacking weaker targets. Let's take him down. The range of this is only like one tile, unhelpfully. Looks like the escape key is not used to actually uh, cancel the turn. Get him. Yeah, that's fine, but I had no, uh, no way of knowing. He's got an opportunity strike on me if I try and move away. Is it worth trying to move away? Well, he probably only do like one damage. I presume. In fact, he didn't even do any damage. Although he did give me an acid debuff. I decided to shoot that one because this guy down here will be able to move up and shoot this one. Alright, that's what acid does. Oh, 
Oh. I should be able to restore my cognition now. There we go. And then move up. Since this guy is caught in melee, he must move to be able to fire. He is going to take a lot of attacks for that. So it seems like the right way to play against the Necron Warriors is to tie them up in melee so that they can't escape. Once tied up in melee, they can't fire unless they move away. Okay, that was simple enough. Servitor, this guy in the face. Um, can I actually shoot him from here? I need direct LOS. Here should be fine. This guy does not have a melee weapon. I can't shoot him at that angle. How annoying. So my units are blocking my own shots here, which is unhelpful. Well, he's going to take some punishment for trying to move. There goes the Servitor. So you want to position your melee units behind the enemy. So that they're still open for uh, being shot at through the front. Simple enough. Man, this boy is soaking up the hurt. His buddy went down like a sack of spuds. Look at this boy. could lock him in. I'm not going to though. Because uh, this guy's actually got a melee weapon, so... Oh! Get wrecked, son! Nice. Machine spirit was strong. Hopefully I can find something to heal myself with. Is there a way to... I'm not sure what this canticles thing is. Yet. I guess that's the settings menu, yep. There's an initiative advantage meter which I don't have. Okay, cool. Sweet. What is the primary focus, sire?
Oh, we have to lower ourselves to the Xenos learnings. What a shame. Fragment! Defragment your hard drive! Woke them up. You were fools. What is this flesh and steel combined? A mockery of both. Their uh oh. Every footstep a blasphemy. What manner of galaxy is this into which I have awoken? You know we're gonna kick your ass, right? At some point, just, just putting that out there. <laughs> Designate Xenos Abominatus. <laughs> well, that was creative designation for him. I get I get the feeling that it is a bad idea to try and take this guy on right now. Insects. I get the feeling I don't want to be fighting this guy right now. I'm not going to be given a choice, am I? It's a but thou must situation. The 41st millennium is a brutal place. In the grim dark future, there is only running at full speed out of this place. Hmm. I think the wise move is to draw him forward and run around the side and go past him. I think just running straight at him is probably a bad idea. Let us begin.
Oh god, we don't want to hear about your achievements. Wow. Well, that bait didn't last very long now, did it? Let's see, um... I presume that you'll go down. If I position here. Sixty health! <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Jesus, this boy's got some movement, hasn't he? Run! Cognition move, do it now! Oh, I can keep doing it. That might be very helpful in the near future. thinking in my head here. Uh, he's ranged, so he, in theory, won't get any melee opportunity attacks. I think that's a fine move for now. Just keep doing it. That's awesome. Welcome to my melee. Apparently I can just run past him if I wish. But that would use my last cognition point and I better save that. Nice, that's another slap. Yeah, yeah. This boy likes to talk. That is some insane movement he's got. Let's get out of here. Skull this boy. Worst possible result.
drain cognition from one of these pillars. Sweet. Not really much I can do here. I hope he's not close enough, but I get the feeling that he is because of that that hit. If only I had killed that guy. It was two to three, so the only role I could have gotten where I wouldn't have killed him was two, and that's the role I got, so... Not much I can do about that. Uh, is there a way to actually pathfind past this? I feel like this is the wise move. I got places I need to be that are not here. Very disappointing to lose a tech priest to RNG in the first episode. Can you hear? Almost makes you feel like you just want to stay on this map and listen to this guy ramble on. Except that I don't. Alright, we're out of there. Probably kill him on normal difficulty. 40. I think he's got 40 health on standard difficulty. Because very hard adds 50% health. So. Could probably take him down. The fact that he's got splash though is pretty bad. I guess you're expected to actually lose that mission. It must be done before the Necrons awaken completely. This is where we find out that there are millions of them down here. Then, what are your orders? Okay. Lots and lots and lots and lots of plot. Death to the alien and all his works. You sound like a space marine, mate. Better in ignorance than in heresy. This guy's like an inquisitor now. Okay, all is the will of the Omnisire. Sweet! Dialogue to say here that the Necrons are waking up. Do 
264 hours. Okay. It's the doom meter. So I guess this is the start of the main game here. From here I will be able to customize my tech priests and prepare for the missions ahead. Alright, cool. Well, this seems like a perfect opportunity to stop. So I hope you enjoyed the first episode. Um, obviously, despite my expertise at turn-based games, I've never played this one before, so it just took me a little bit to pick up the basics there. But, I mean, we managed to escape from a mission where I think you're pretty much meant to lose. Um, although, maybe you can kill him on normal difficulty or something. He'd have 40 HP. But I don't know, he's got like five armor of each type, so I don't think you can actually damage him in any way. So I think the only choice there is to get out of dodge. And from the dialogue, it kind of seemed like you were meant to lose. But anyway, we got out, and uh, so this is the uh, this is the beginning of the game, I believe. Well, this looks like it will be lots of fun. Um, I'm going to have a look through the options and that and see if I can speed up the movements and things like that. But all in all... I'm very much glad that people uh, asked me to do this. And with the new patch that just came out and the advanced difficulty settings, I'm sure it will present a little bit more of a challenge for uh, those of you who have perhaps finished it since uh, it came out in 2018. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time.